natural remedy for gingivitis, toothaches, and mouth sores. Everyone has a variety of bacteria in their mouth. Some have more than others. This bacterium helps you by beginning the digestive process. Excess bacteria in your mouth have now been found to cause more than tooth decay, gingivitis, or gum disease. So, you need to know, even though you might not have gingivitis, how to control these plaque building bacteria in your mouth. Bacteria that create gingivitis, live in your plaque, and cause your gums to inflame, bleed, and separate from your teeth. You can also have bad breath, when you have gingivitis. In more severe cases, your gums become sore, teeth hurt, gums recede, and teeth loosen. To stop the inflammation, and gum separation, use this natural remedy to kill some of these bacteria, and strengthen your gums in your mouth. Here are the herbs, and the formula you will need to make a remedy, for a mild case of gingivitis. 2 parts white oak bark herb, powder. 1 part my gum herb, powder or granules. 3 quarters part peppermint leaves converted to powder. 1 half part anise herb, powder or seeds. 1 eighth part clove, powder. If herbs and leaves are not in powder form, grind them in a coffee grinder. Use this formula to make as much powder as you want. Place the mixture into a small container. You can use a small unused vitamin bottle. Mix a small amount and use a tablespoon as my measuring tool. For example, 2 tablespoons of white toke, 1 tablespoon of my gum, 3 quarters tablespoon of peppermint leaves, and so on. The measurements do not have to be so precise. How to use it? To control bacteria in your mouth, use this powder once a week. If you have gingivitis, you can use this three times a day. Place some powder on your toothbrush, and brush your teeth and gums. After brushing spit out, a few time, the saliva, and residue powder. Don't rinse out your mouth, since you want to keep the active herb powders, in your mouth. You can swallow any, that remains in your mouth with no problem. This powder combination is bitter, but quite powerful, and will get the job done. You can add more peppermint powder, to make it less bitter, if you like. For severe cases of gingivitis, and toothaches, you can also moist some powder with distilled water, and then place the paste all along your teeth, and gums, front, and back. Leave the paste in your mouth, as long as you can. Don't worry about the herbs, getting in between your teeth. This remedy works. If you're scheduled for a root canal, and the pain is too much, just place the powder around the painful area. It wouldn't be long, before the pain stops. There have been other clients, that have used this remedy for a month, and successfully avoided having the dentist apply gingivitis treatment. In cases of severe gingivitis, go see your dentist, and at the same time use this remedy. If you find this information useful, hit the like button, share this, subscribe to our channel, and make sure you hit the bell to get notification, of our latest content.